This helmet here is uh, dated 700 BC and it's made of bronze and it's a very form, uh, early form of armour. And there's some more early forms of armour dating back to about 500 BC. Got some um, leg armour, belts, breastplates and helmets. After this um, you get chainmail appearing. And after um, the uh, chainmail you got plate armour appearing before eventually uh, getting full suits of armour appearing, which I'm going to show you next. Uh, the plate armour is often worn with um, the chainmail underneath. The example of uh, 15th century armour, it's uh, German and um, you can tell it's German by the, uh, the lines on it and by the fact that you got like a curvature to the, um, to the belly as well. And this is an example of um, where they've got chain mail and the plate armours, and, well the full armour um, on as well. This is an example of um, some armour that would have been worn by a seven year old. Um, start wearing um, armour quite early, normally between seven and ten years old, uh, to um, train the muscles to wear the heavier armour when they get older. This is the armour which um, would have been worn by King Henry VIII in the, uh, the field of cloth of gold. Unfortunately, um, the French changed the rules, so he ended up wearing one over here. Which is still a very good design, allows uh, free movement. Um, but certainly, this one over here is um, one of the best armours ever made. Uh, well, especially for the time anyway and it's uh, giving a 100% of uh, coverage that somebody would need it's, uh, Maximilian, uh, Emperor Maximilian the first armour and um, some of his armour is said to be some of the best in the world ever made